For the past eight decades, the men and women of the 355th Wing have stood ready to defend the United States of America. Despite our many successes, competitors continue threatening our nation and its interests. Our ability to support and defend is constantly being tested. We must remain vigilant. Our wing's mission, vision, and priorities ensure we're ready for today's fight and tomorrow's wars. Our mission is to rescue and attack. We rescue friendly forces and attack our nation's enemies. Rescue and attack help defend our nation and our noble endeavors. The people we rescue are often injured, alone, or surrounded by enemy forces, but we bring them home. The people we attack threaten to overrun friendly forces on the battlefield. Together, rescue and attack ensure lives saved and battles won. Rescue and attack are team efforts. While pararescue men and pilots may be the most visible, it takes the selfless efforts of all airmen to guarantee mission success. Our maintainers ensure our aircraft are fit to fly. Medical personnel ensure everyone is fit to fight. And mission support and wing staff members make sure airmen and their families' essential needs are met, enabling all to focus on the mission. As a rescue and attack team, we ensure someone's worst day isn't their last. During the past three decades of conflict, time and distance have been our allies. These luxuries no longer exist. Our competitors have turned our country's well-established overseas bases into fixed and easy targets. If we are to continue defending the United States, we must continue to refine how we rescue and attack. We do that as a lead wing. Lead wing is not unique to davis Monthan. We are one of five bases designated to champion the Air Force's new force generation model. As a lead wing, we bring a new level of speed to rescue and attack in a deployed environment. Speed that will allow us to outthink, outmaneuver, and outfight our nation's enemies. The lead wing concept is possible because of three unique characteristics. First is agility, our ability to rapidly deploy and fight from any new location. Second is our airlift, this lets us move on our own and sustain ourselves. Third is austerity, our ability to operate from austere locations without paved runway. These characteristics allow a lead wing to fight from more locations and remain unpredictable to our enemies. However, these concepts only work under the strong foundation of our multi-capable airmen. A lead wing needs lethal airmen, skilled, agile, and resilient warfighters. This is our vision. To fully realize this vision, we will use six priorities. Respected, protected, and connected. Fight, fit, and family. Every member of the wing will be respected, regardless of position, rank, or job. Our airmen are fearless, knowing they are part of a protected team. The wing cultivates a culture of inclusion where everyone knows they are valued and important and feel connected to the team mission and community. Being respected, protected, and connected readies our airmen for any fight. We ensure our airmen are fit for conflict by placing an emphasis not only on physical fitness, but also on mental and spiritual fitness. Last but not least is family. None of us fight alone. Our airmen draw from the strength of their Air Force and personal families. Positive relationships improve our likelihood of success. We want to ensure our airmen have access to support networks so they can compete and succeed on the battlefield. These priorities are enduring. They provide stability and clarity for what is truly important. All airmen must understand how vital their contributions are to accomplishing our mission, realizing our vision, and helping our nation compete in peer conflict. Together, we will continue defending the United States today while leading our Air Force and preparing for the wars of tomorrow. Rescue and attack.